Inspiration for Innovative Wednesday came from the staff. Uh, all the teachers were talking about how could we have students have more ownership over their learning and is there a way that we can incorporate new elements of the curriculum that's the new curriculum that's coming uh, into how students interact with it and that personalization as well and uh, a component of collaboration which is part of the design thinking that we've been exploring in the school so when we wrapped all those things together the staff came up with this concept of Innovative Wednesday as a way for students to choose the activities that they felt, felt best met their needs so that they could be the best learner possible. There's so many different benefits that we're seeing. Uh, what we're hearing from students in, uh, who are using it for uh, collaborative group work is that it's an opportunity for them to work together and collaborate, which is then actually helping them do better on tests in classes. And we're finding students telling us that whatever activity they choose, it's the activity that's going to help them do better at school or be their best. And for some of them, that means just being calm, doing yoga, uh, where they just want to be uh, in the midweek, have that opportunity to be quiet and reflective, and for them, that's what meets their needs. Well, I like to go to the library and read books and things like that because it's fun, and I like relaxing. Yeah, I like to use it to study for tests and group projects. Well, mostly I've been using it for a study block because on my Innovation Wednesdays, it just coincidentally happens to be the days that I have a big test or a quiz or something. So I could, and it works perfectly because normally the two classes that I have tests or quizzes for are after Innovation, so mm -hmm. it always works perfectly. Innovation Wednesday is used for many different reasons. So like if you're just bored and you want to go have fun, you can go play volleyball or go to the art studio or something. But if you're like me and you want to use it constructively to get some work done, you could go to a collaborative study room or a study block or go to the cafeteria. You know, there's a lot of things to do and I think it's really helpful. Well, I'm very interested in designing stuff. So I feel like makers Makers Club space would be like a good place for me to be. We'd be making um, stuff like building like a tower out of popsicle sticks and then also building like a um, braille track out of um, what's it called? Pasta. <laughs> Our club art itself is about the health scientists, so we're basically revolved around anything that has to do with the health scientists. The event that we're currently running in Nation Time is a one match event where we basically try and find some solid donors within our school that are between the ages of 17 and 30. Um, I think the event itself is was just inspired by students who are physically saving their life and there's so much importance in that and the fact that we have this this one hour time to actually give back to people and to help people to make this choice and not only make this choice but they have the power to give and the fact that they have this time to give something like this is really special. Uh, Canadian Butt Service has this logo where it's, it's in you to give, literally it's in you to give. It has been a huge blessing and we actually started out by planning this event within the animation time and getting people involved and now we actually get to have this event and where people come in and help us orchestrate a stem cell donation. Try. Try. And we both really had a passion, I think, yeah. for health sciences. So like we came together and kind of put this like whole idea together and got a whole bunch of students involved that we knew that were super in love with the sciences. So I mean, it's been extremely successful so far and it's very new and Innovation Time's new, our club is new and it's all going really well. Yeah. So
Hi, um, my name is Brooke and I'm the Student Council President. So I think Innovation Wednesday has been an amazing addition to Hansworth. Um, personally, I've used it mainly to join a charity that I never would have known about before. It's called Spread the Net and it's led by one of the teachers and student teachers at Hansworth where we raise money for charity to um, buy malaria mosquito prevention nets for families in Zimbabwe. But also I've been able to use the time to work on my own studies or meet with people in groups and also use it for student council prep time. So I even find myself be often being double booked. There are so many things that I want to do and I've been using this time to pursue activities that I never would have been able to otherwise. So from my perspective, Innovation Wednesday has given kids a couple of uh, things that they are focusing on. Some uh, students really appreciate the extra time to collaborate with their groups or to work independently on homework or to meet with teachers in a, a time that's not necessarily their lunch break or after school when they're busy with other activities. And there's a whole other layer of students that have decided to explore what's interesting to them. They're doing special projects, hands-on activities, innovative ideas um, that are, is allowing them to stretch beyond what might be offered in the normal school day. Um, my senior students who were retreat leaders for the Grade 8 retreat have had an opportunity to come in to plan and execute uh, some innovation sessions for the Grade 8 students. And the Grade 8s are responding coming to the sessions and really enjoying being able to socialize with the older students, get to know them a bit better in a very safe environment. The reason why I like doing Innovation Wednesdays with the Kitchen Science is science is everywhere. And what I try to get the kids to realize is that they can use regular household items. They don't need fancy equipment to do experiments. For an example, we did stuff with pumpkins and I made them ooze guts out of the insides. That was really cool stuff to do. The kids loved it. Not only that, but they can take some stuff that they have at home and do the same experiment. That's why I like it. It gets the kids excited about science. My hope for Innovation Wednesday is that students have an opportunity to engage in learning that they think is really meaningful to them. For students to have a choice to do what they want to do and what they think is going to help them in the real world with their connections to their community, to their schooling, and the world beyond Hansworth. Uh, an innovative Wednesday, even beyond what we could envision and dream, and that is something that students truly own and have ownership of, and something that really is helping them be the best person and best student they can be. My dream and looking forward for Innovative Wednesday is to put it into the hands of students and have them run with it and follow.